So a man walk in the bar and he tell the bartender, are you a betting man? The bartender says, sure man, I'm a betting man, I always bet. The man says, okay, bet me $50, I can lick my, uh, my right eye. The barman thinks he said, okay, I can, I can bet him, um, I can win an easy $50 here. There is no way his tongue can reach all the way in his right eye. Anyway, here is the bet. So they bet $50. The man, they go to marble line and he put on his tongue and he lick him. The barman was mad at him. He threw him out of the bar. One week later, he come back in the bar again. The barman see him again and he say, you come again? What scam you get now? He said, give, give me a shot. The barman gave him a shot in a shot glass. He drink them out quickly, boop, and he slam down his glass on the counter top. He said, okay, you ready now to bet? I'm gonna bet you $500. I can piss in this glass here while you spin me around in this chair. And not a drop is gonna go anywhere. The barman said, right, this is my chance to get him back. There's no way he can pee in that shot glass without spilling it. And I'm gonna make sure I spin that chair really hard. So he said, okay, bet is on. So he bet the man $500. When he bet the man $500, and he come around. He said, okay, here is the glass. So when the man start pee, the, while the guy has spin him around on the chair, not even a drop going to the glass. He's peeing all over in the bar, even when the barman, all in his face and everything. And the barman is smiling. So when he done pee now all over the place, the barman now continue smile. He said, I got you. Why you think you would get a drop of pee in that glass? He said, you smile, you think you're happy? While you're laughing over here, you see that guy that's sitting easy in the corner there? I bet him $10,000 that I'm gonna come in here, pee all over your bar and pee all over you and you're gonna smile. Hi everyone, it's your favorite and local niece here. I'm going to give some shout outs for the family I forgot in the last video. Mavina Arjun, Girl Meets World, Cuz Vacant Family, DJ Shamir Barakrat from Subjective Sound Radio. Family, please check them out, number one in radio station. Farmer Sham, I see you. Carol Prasad, Bibi Rafik, Zombie Fulci, Debbie Saku, Auntie Jean Jalcheron from Florida, Nisha Razak, Lenny Baig, Nikki Sharda Prasad, Mati Pollard Singh, Shage, Nareesh Shamkaran, aka Nana, Lo Guyana Critics, Nirvana Bagwaran. That's all for me. Bye. Love you all. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with everyone. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome back. So today we're gonna do a very quick recipe, right? I got all my ingredients spread out here. Look at this. Very simple. How many ingredients? Three, two, five, one, six. So here I have powder milk. Here I have a little bit of ghee. Cinnamon stick or spice ground up here. Elaichi or cardamom also ground up. A can of sweetened condensed milk. And here we have about three quarter cup of uh, regular milk, right? All average here. We're gonna go make some simple powder milk fudge. Or milk fudge, right? Because we have powder milk and we have other milk. Where's it, Rita? Powder milk fudge. Powder milk fudge, all right. That's what it's called. All right, so come along, come with me. Let's have fun and make this together. All right, guys, so let's light up this, fire up this bad boy here. Here I got my uh, karahi here. I'm not using the uh, regular heavy bottom car here. I'm using the regular, um, what do you call this one, Rita? Walk. Walk. Double. Walk. Okay. All right, so let's warm this up a little bit. And we'll go in with our first ingredient. Here, I got the ghee here. About a two teaspoon of uh, ghee here. So we're going to let that melt up here. You can use cow ghee, vegetable ghee, anything that you have, right? So let's spread it out and let it melt. So I got my ghee melted there. I'm gonna go in with my sweetened condensed milk and I'm using a uh, Parat brand there, right? This is a West Indian brand uh, condensed milk here. I love Parat condensed milk. And uh, we support local, right? Local. It's your local family, right? Get everything, ma. It's too late now for eat and that with anything. We got a lot of bread and so, right? Yeah. Or we can leave this a little bit for you to scrape out the can. Who wants to scrape out the can there? Alright guys, so a lot of sweet, don't worry. Live like it's your last day. What do you say? Of course. Alright. Alright, so let's get it uh, mixed in with the ghee there. Alright guys, so we got the, the condensed milk. 
mixed up with the ghee here. Take a look at that there. See, we got the condensed milk nice and thin. So it melt a little bit there, right? And here we got the uh, powder milk. We're gonna go in with a little bit at a time and try to mix it in, right? It's average, right? Yeah. yeah. I try to get the uh, powder milk mixed in to the condensed milk and the ghee there, right? Alright, so we got about half in there. Let me mix that up and then I'll come back the other half in. You can also add this regular milk in here to get everything mixed up here in the order of things it doesn't really matter as long as we get it in right this is my way of doing it so that milk that i just add in there will help to loosen up the uh, the powder milk all right krita is going to give me a hand there to add the rest of the powder milk Alright guys, very simple, very simple, right? See? It's just a lot of turning to get the powder milk working to the uh, condensed milk, right? Alright, let's go with the rest of the powder milk. And this thing, when like if you do jandy, most of them people nowadays, <laughs> they don't want to make the pira, they make this one, right? I know, right? Because the pira, you have hours and hours, right? But not your propane gas and so if you take iron and you get free firewood, I guess then it's okay. <laughs> no, but our pair does fast. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm saying ours does fast. Everybody when I was doing cobalt fast, right? All right, so let's get our uh, powder milk working there. I almost got everything working there. All right, this is looking good there. You don't want the lump to form, right? So you want to mix, mix it up real good. Have your powder milk worked in to the uh, condensed milk look at that and this is very fast guys this is not gonna take long we got the cardamoms here like I was saying right it doesn't matter the order of things and here we have the ground uh, cinnamon or spice here to flavor it up so we'll mix work that in or mix it in and this is smelling real good there mm. smells good right yeah all right So this is done here. Once we have this uh, mixed in here, and you see how it's leaving the, the karahi or the pot or the pan, this is good to go. Yes guys, so we have it here. Turn off from the pot here. We have our uh, baking pan here. Put some wax paper or parchment paper there. And we're gonna put it in there and flatten it out and let it cool down. See how fast this is here? And it's a very quick uh, snack here, dessert. However you want to call it, right? Especially with all these holidays around here. Pagwa, Ramadan, Eid coming up, now Ratri coming up. And like I said, it's a quick snack, it's a dessert, however you want to use it for, right? Any time of day, late night snack, however you want it. See how it's looking there? Real good, real good. Nice and flat there, so we're going to let that cool down into the pan. We'll give it a couple hours to let it cool long and then we're gonna cut it up. All right, guys, so check out the uh, fudge there. That's how it's looking there. See? It cooled long a little bit. We didn't give it a lot of time. We smell amazing. About an hour or so, right? If you give it, Rita, to cool long in a uh, room temperature. And now we're gonna cut it up. I'm gonna cut it too big because it's thick, right? <laughs> okay. What do you think? That size is good? I think it's still a little bit too thick. I mean, uh, too big because it's very thick. Are you going to make it smaller on that side? All right, so this is coming out real good there. And when you eat on piece, you eat on piece, man. Right? Make it smaller. I think that's a little bit too big because it's thick. All right, so we're going to dice this up. I will show you guys the end result. Yes, guys, take a look at this goodness here. 
see how this come out of? let me give you guys a 360 of the whole thing looking good right so this is the powder milk fudge this is the finishing touch there right rita you did an excellent job you know me it? i didn't cook it or all make right. it all right you help man you're the assistant right you have pass some spoon and and, and them ingredient and so on give me all right um, this come out real good here now for the moment of truth right let's go in for the taste so i'm gonna go in with a, a nice piece here see how it's looking there how about i give it to all of you guys first all right go ahead and then you let me know how it tastes then i'm gonna go in and tell you guys how it tastes right this is nice and soft the sweetness level is good and we don't have any um what do you call it lump inside right it's nice and smooth and very flavorful and it's a very fast snack right even though it's a lot of sweet like i said right live like it's your last day this is heaven yes guys so i'm here outside doing some nice snapper fried fish there take a look there we did an excellent job season this bad boy up there right nice fresh snapper fish there you buy this from new york right or new jersey no this one from new york all right so this one is uh, from new from york matrix. from matrix 2.0 right and it's off the coast of the atlantic of guyana all right so we'll warm up the island a little bit let's see if we warm up there uh, we'll give it a minute more retainer bring your bamboo girl come and check the island chopstick or chopstick and it's nice we outside we outside so super excited yep can't wait right in a couple more uh, maybe about a month or so we're gonna be outside more often all right so we got the oil warm up there we're going in with our fish i don't want it too hot right to burn my fish i want my fish to fry all the way inside so that's perfect here for what i need Check it out, this nice snapper fish there. Oh, you mean eat, eat? Yesterday was better than today. <laughs> right? Yeah. The sun was out more yesterday compared to today. I think they said it's supposed to rain later on. Alright, so I got my first set in there. I'll let this uh, fry there and then we'll take a look. Yes, guys, come check out the snapper hey nice and brown there right that's how you want it there not over fry at the same time not for all right you get nice strain i here for strain out and if you need to strain out properly you get an additional draining pan here right make sure we get out all the grease there and we eat healthy fish there what do you say of course fish is healthy right yeah even though we're frying it see how it looks there yeah real nice And, and we just like snapper fish fry especially when we get in a bottle of um jenny waka black there or green or some beer this is so good right rita you don't know right no i don't know all right so next step next step going in there so take a look at this fried fish here see how nice it come out there looking good right yeah nice color the nice texture that I want let me go ahead and give it a taste there so look at this there nice right and I got my barrel hot sauce to go to go along with this there look this is very good and it tastes very fresh right even though it was frozen very very good check it out guys we're here in our in our stadium okay in our school stadium across from our house yes our stadium you see my house is right there in our stadium man i'm the owner for the stadium <laughs> uh yeah so nice weather today the kids are out doing where are we going Ethan, Ethan, i'm gonna go easter hunting get some spring training going <clears throat> We got our spring training coming. We gotta get in shape for getting in shape for summer. 
all right so they have a little um easter egg hunt here for the kids too but i believe we're late but it's okay we're gonna go stop by check it out see what's going on you know it's right in our neighborhood we support our neighborhood activities right so this is what the inside of the stadium look like right across, across from our house and the um Baranja bears play here Baranja high school they play football over here Visiting the baby baby store is an experience like no one. We have many different brands in our showroom for you to touch and compare, and we offer master class on Saturday and Sunday where you get to work with me one on one and ask me any question you want, and we'll do live comparisons. We have you can participate in. You can have to see what you got to buy. <laughs> I took the chocolate. Oh, the okay, chocolate. Cheetos. Check it out, guys. Real nice. Check and see what you do. I thought what damages you get? It's a spicy Cheetos. I never tried it. Try I it, thought it was normal one. I thought it would be normal. That's what it looks like. Oh, it looks like something like Takis. It's supposed to be spicy. I thought it was normal. It's normal. What's going on here? It's a float. For what? Easter? Easter float. The Kayaga Pago Parade float. Mm -hmm. And the Wali Parade float, we get Easter float. As like a fire something. Happy Easter. I want up. Real nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes fam, this is our neighborhood. We got Carvel, we got Papa John, we got the laundry mat, we got CVS, we got everything right here. You see this is the stadium in front of my house. Enjoying the weather. And then you get bike here. Bike rental, bike rental. City I want to rent a bike here. City bike. Hey, I got two of those. Maybe I can rent it out too. And I'll rent mine. <laughs> I'm gonna rent mine, make my money back, get my money's worth. So I'm gonna have to bring it out. Check it out guys, it's a huge, huge, huge stadium. <laughs> Our neighborhood is clean. Uh-huh. Compared to what? <laughs> so a fourth grade teacher was teaching our class and he said, okay, I'm gonna learn, teach you guys a lesson today. A logic, life logic. Okay, here it goes. A fisherman is out in the river. He's standing in the middle of the river in his boat fishing. All of a sudden, he fall over. He fall into the water and he start plashing, splashing and he had a help help right and he can't swim so his wife heard him now and he look out he said oh my god my husband can't swim and she start run towards the bank so after she said that he asked the class why you think his wife was running to the bank one of the little girl in in the back raised her hand and say she's running to the bank to withdraw all his savings Yeah, yeah,